Yeah, Homo, we know at least one of those investigations deals with use of force by guards against an inmate here. The allegations blacked out in the copy of the jail's review released by Cuyahoga County yesterday, but in the full version of the U.S. Marshals report obtained by five on your side investigators, the allegations spelled out. Inspectors writing in one use of force instance, it can be confirmed use of force is used as punishment. Adding this particular use of force incident is turned over to the Federal Bureau of Investigation for further investigation. The Marshals team also noting over 100 interviews with inmates reveal, quote, strong and consistent allegation of brutality, use of force punishment, and cruel treatment at the hands of the jail security response team. Allegations apparently backed up by body cam videos. According to the report, those videos showed jailers acting aggressively and using abusive, explicit language directed at inmates. Along with the FBI, we're told Cuyahoga County's Inspector General is also looking into possible civil rights issues inside the jail, where since June, at least six inmates have died. According to the report, there have been 55 suicide attempts at the jail in the past year. Part of what U.S. Marshal Pete Elliott described as a broken system that, in his words, almost needs to be gutted and rebuilt from the bottom up. They need to bring in a strong um, warden, in my opinion, that has tons of corrections experience. That's going to be no nonsense. That's going to be able to work on these matters right away. County leaders pledge things will improve here. They now have 30 days to respond to the allegations made in this report. Reporting live downtown on 5 on your side, investigator Scott Knoll.